2.24 p.m. Hey guys, it's Grace Amadeo back with another tech video. So, as you can probably see, I have this old Microsoft Surface back here with me. And today I have NVDA up. So, did you know that you can actually use NVDA with a touchscreen? Yes, there are some touch gestures with NVDA that I think are pretty unique. Um, well, there's one that's pretty unique that I think is kind of cool because it's original and it's not something you'd see in another mobile screen reader. But honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it because you can't solely use it with the touch screen. You're gonna have to have the keyboard handy. It's just so you can, I guess, quickly navigate the screen if you need to. Okay, so I'm on the desktop right now. So I'm gonna swipe right and left just to show you you can do that to navigate the screen. Unknown. Folder view list. Recycle bin checkbox. Google Chrome checkbox selected checked. Microsoft Edge checkbox not checked. Go swipe left. Google Chrome checkbox selected checked. All right, so I swiped right until it went to Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, I'm sorry. And then I swiped left to go back to Google Chrome. So I'm gonna double tap to activate that. Folder view list. New tap Google Chrome. Address and search bar edit has auto complete. So that was successful. I was able to just go on to Google Chrome, no problem with that. So now let me look up something. Let's see. W H O G S. Let's just put in a random question. Now I'm gonna navigate the screen again. Accessibility links head. Accessibility link. Skip to main. Con skip to main content. And double tap. And see. Skip to main content link. Yeah. It's link. Activate. Main landmark dogs' noses are so cold because they are ultra sensitive heat detectors. A new study has confirmed. Dogs. Dogs noses are so cold because they are ultra And to quiet it, I just put two fingers to the screen. So that's pretty typical, you know, on your usual screen reader. Now, say you want to read by character or by word. Or actually no, just usually by character. To do that, you want to go to text mode. So to switch between, right now we're on object mode, and to, so to switch to text mode, I'm, I have gonna take three fingers and tap the screen with three fingers. Text mode. So let's see. O, D, O, G, S, tick, space, N, O, S, E, S. So I was swiping e, right, S, O, N, space, tick, and S, now left. G, O, D. And now it's reading it by letter. If I swipe down, heading clickable level three, while it has been widely assumed the phenomenon, heading clickable level three researchers have now revealed that the tip of the nose serves in a just shut that up and with two fingers on the screen, it kind of goes by line or right now it's doing by heading. Heading clickable level three, 2020. Heading clickable level three researchers have now revealed that the tip of the nose serves an important sensor. Okay. Function. And you can still activate. activate it by double tapping it. That's pretty neat. And I'm gonna, now I'm gonna put it back to object mode. Object mode. Okay, so another cool thing you can do is activate the NVDA menu. So if you wanna change the voice, access the help menu, you know, normally on a keyboard, you would press the NVDA key with N, but on the screen, we're gonna do a two finger double tap, or if you're a voiceover user, a magic tap. NVDA menu. Okay, so here's the NVDA menu. I'm gonna swipe right. Preferences sub menu P. Preferences. Tools sub menu T. Tools. Help sub menu H. Now here's one thing I don't like. I'm gonna double tap where it says help. Help. Help sub menu H. Configuration profiles. And it C. does not activate the sub menu. Help sub menu H. I'm gonna go back and if I swipe down. No objects inside. You can't activate it. Swipe up. NVDA menu. It just goes right back to the top of the menu. So some things like sub menus and stuff like that. Sub, help sub menu H. Why don't I? Try. 
alteration profiles. Yeah, that won't work either. So Help you have to hit enter. Why do dogs have cold noses? Google search. Oh, wait a minute. MBDA menu. User guide you. I just hit, or, or you just have to hit H because sometimes hitting enter won't help. You kind of have to press tab, which is kind of annoying. So I'm going to go to the quick reference. Quick reference queue. All right, so I'm going to double tap that, see if that'll open. Waiting for response from Microsoft Edge. All right, so we're on Microsoft Edge window. We're on Microsoft Edge right now. So now I'm just going to um, tap the screen, and that just is kind of like an explore by touch. Table with nine rows and five columns. Row three description column five instantly pauses speech. Pressing it again will continue speaking where it left off. If pausing is supported by the current gonna, synthesizer. I just did two fingers on the screen just to pause it. Now, one thing I don't like is you can't really drag your finger on the screen to do explore by touch. You kind of just have to tap randomly on the screen because watch what I do when, it, when I drag my finger. There's no feedback here. I'm dragging my finger all around the screen and nothing's happening. And then I'm swiping left and right and nothing's happening. Now, at first I wasn't sure, I thought maybe this had to do with the this particular computer being old, but it's worked really well, Heading aside from this. Oh, and now it's, now it's going back, because I tried the keyboard. It's working just fine. And also, if you need to, and if you need any help with any of the gestures, you just have to do caps lock. New Roman 24 PT black. Caps lock with one. Input help on. Now, I went to the user guide and the commands quick reference. There is no touch gesture for this either. But, as, as, uh, this is pretty good for, uh, to help, for, to get help, like. Tap. Reports the object and content directly under your finger. Exactly. You tap the screen, it tells you what you just tapped. Click right. Moves to the next object in a flattened view of the object navigation hierarchy. All right. So, I think that's kind of confusing in a flattened view of the hierarchy. I, I, it must be a visual thing. Click left. Moves to the previous object in a flattened view of the object navigation hierarchy. Now, another right way you can move between objects is swiping left and right with two fingers. Two finger flick right. Moves the navigator object to the next object. Moves the navigator object. I'm guessing that's the PC cursor. Two finger flick left. Moves the navigator object to the previous object. Description. See, if anybody has more knowledge of this, please put this in the comments, because um, I mainly use uh, voiceover and talkback and other stuff like that. NVDA um, is not something that I've used for the longest time. You know, I, I definitely can figure it out, but on the screen, it just doesn't seem like there's ad enough adequate gestures. Like, narrator, you can navigate by link, heading, word, character, anything you want, and it gives you the feedback if you touch the screen. Double tap, you get the feedback, and it just seems, I recommend it if you want to use the screen more than the keyboard. So that concludes this rather um, video in two minds, I guess. Um, I was kind of impressed that it did have uh, some touch screen support because I kind of wasn't expecting it. So, you know, I was, it was kind of fun to play around with and look at, but I'm not a fan on, in the long run. All right, well, thanks for watching, and bye for now.